I am Brody the Kid, and my co-host today is Chris. What's up, buddy? What's Thanks up? for having me back. Chris, we gotta talk more about that panini party. We do. Let's do it. There was food, we got to play video games, there was cards everywhere. It was crazy. What were you guys opening? Don Russ uh, basketball? I think it was hoops. Oh, it was hoops? Yeah, but I mean, we got a John Morant rookie, so yeah. pretty cool. They, they had cards out on the, on the tabletop. You could open up cards, go play some video games. We got a uh, pool, ping pong, some awesome quesadillas, A+. Plus. Yeah, they did a good job. I remember seeing you playing Pac-Man with John Morant. That was sick. That was like one of the best moments of my life. You didn't miss a beat, brother. You just stepped right up, and there you are playing with the potential rookie of the year. Did you beat him in Pac-Man? No. No? He was actually pretty good at it. Oh, man, he schooled you in Pac-Man. A+. Plus. What about this jumper you got? Oh, yeah, so I played Papa Shot with Rui Hachimura, and I beat him three times in a row. And he made me switch sides, and I beat him again. I saw that. That was episode four. If they didn't see it. You can go back and watch him in episode four, playing Rui Hashimura, playing some Pac-Man, John Moran. It was a good day, man. I'm glad yeah, you were there. Yeah, that was awesome, and I'm glad you were there, too. Yeah, <laughs> you know it. All right, and then we had that party on Saturday, and then on Sunday, Panini came to your shop. Top shelf cards, and it was an awesome day. They did. They did come to the shop. It was a very surreal day having them here. But we did pack wars, box wars. I saw you and your buddy buying cards, ripping packs. Mm -hmm. Did you by chance win anything in the box wars and pack wars? I don't think so. Oh, man. <laughs> I did get some cool cards out of the packs, but they're like, you get the exclusive parallel. I'd get some good cards, but I want to get the parallel. Well, later... In this show, Hobby Life with Brody the Kid, we're going to open up some old school cards from the 90s, try to find some Jordans. Jordans! Yes. He's right. still the GOAT. I don't care He's about LeBron James. How cool would it be if you pull a Jordan out of one of those packs? We're going to do it. sick. I'm also going to have to open them all until you do, so pull one early. And right. by the way, um, I think you said this, when Panini came, the store was the cleanest I've ever seen. Ah, yes, you know it. I called it in the really whole good. cleaning crew. A- Plus. Yes. So they should come every day, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> would, the store would always look very neat, which it Good. does usually, too. Yes, it does. But then once in a while, <laughs> that's what every car Keeps shows. me on my toes. And here's a funny thing you probably didn't know. I had about 72 hours notice before they showed up here, so wow. I think we pulled it off. Mm -hmm. We did. They're coming back. You also... Just came back, well, not just came back, but recently came back from the Tops Industry Conference. Yeah. Conference, yeah. We did. That was in Arizona. Uh, Tops gets a lot of people from the industry, uh, breakers, shop owners, distributors, dealers, gets them all together in one place in a, just outside of Phoenix. And we go to seminars, conferences. Uh, Monday night, special guest, Chris Bryant showed up. Pretty cool, especially since you like the Cubs. I do like the Cubs. I do like the Cubs. So Chris Bryan was there. He signed. We were at a place throwing axes. Did you see those axe videos that I made? What's while axe throwing? You throw an axe into the bullseye. You would love it. An actual sharp axe, and you throw it Wasn't into the bullseye. Wasn't that supposed to be a peaceful event? Um, I think it was, but it was kind of unique because we're throwing axes on one side, and Chris Bryant was on the other. So it's kind of... What if one, what if one slipped and you hit Chris Bryant? He, there, there's there's guards. He's out for the year. Yeah, that would not Cubs be good. Cubs will be worse than they're already going to be. Which, by the way, that oh, they're not going to be that good. Seriously. No offense. White Sox. Who do you win. like? White. How am I on this show if this guy likes the White Sox? You guys bamboozled me. Luis Robert for that. Rookie of the Year. I did not know that. Okay, well we're gonna have to do a little something on the season. A little friendly wager. Bet. Are we allowed to bet? Cards. Yeah, I think it's a betting year. He's we have permission. We're gonna bet about cards. We're gonna make a friendly wager for best record or who. All right, let's do it halfway through. They hear it first on your show, Brody the Kid Hobby Life. Halfway through the season, the best record wins, and we'll see what happens in the second half. Okay. Right. Well, what do we win if we win? I don't know. We'll tell tell them next week. We'll come up with something. All right. Sounds like you're already going to win. You think you got this one in the bag? Yes, because Eloy Jimenez is gonna have a lot of home runs. Okay. He probably will. And Chris Bryant's going to get traded to the Rockies. Wow. No one Arenado. Where do you get this information from? I How do know. you know this? This, is just, this has been my theory the whole time. Man, 
You're good, man. You're good. All right, Chris. I gotta ask you this. So at the Tops conference, did you get any information of you know new products coming out, tips, whatever? We did. That's one of the insider things we get to do there. And they say no recording, no taking pictures, because they're sharing information that's right. proprietary. So there's going to be a couple things you might have heard about it. If you haven't, um, Allen and Ginter is going to be chromed out. So it's going to be shiny Allen and Ginter product this Wait, year. It's all going to be chrome. Yes. I loved Alan and Ginter, now it's going to be A+. plus. Yeah, shiny Alan and Ginter Chrome. And Transcendent, uh, we did have some meetings about Transcendent and how we can maybe make that a little bit more enhanced, a little bit better. Um, Bryce Harper will be the guest this year for the Transcendent party. And uh, there's going to be some, some new uh, wrestling products coming out at the end of the year that we haven't seen yet from Topps. And um, they doing like tops chrome or something? No, it's going to be something to do with lots of memorabilia, big chunky pieces yeah. of, of wrestling artifacts, you know, versus the little kind of standard retail looking. But aren't they doing uh, WWE Transcendence? They are doing WWE Transcendent. That comes out next month. Ooh. We'll have it, and they're giving a ticket to SummerSlam. I will be watching. Probably not in it, though, because it's probably going to be a lot of money. It's all right. And the other thing is with Transcendent, they did the belt last year, their first year. This year, they're taking the medallions that go on the side of the belt, and those are going to be autographed. They're going to come in a cool little stand. So that's wow. going to be the other, other big item in Transcendent this year. That's pretty sweet. Yep. And the tickets right. to SummerSlam. Other than that, we uh, just hang out with each other and talk business and eat. And... Um, did they have good quesadillas? They Actually, they really did. And I thought of you with the quesadillas. They did. No joke. You always got to have good food before you go places. He, he requires that in his on his rider. When he comes here, I got to have quesadillas in the back for Brody the Kid. Perfectly cooked temperatures. Right? Right. Okay, bud. I got you. All right, Chris. I want to ask you some stuff. Because we know, ironically enough, you are a breaker after <laughs> yeah. all. So I want to ask you some questions about how people could start to get into breaking that maybe are nervous to go in the chat rooms because they don't know much about it or just don't really know exactly how it works. Can you tell our viewers? I would love to share that information. Well, breaking, we're actually breaking open packs, we're breaking open boxes, we're breaking open cases, we're breaking them open. That's called ripping. Ripping. You could be ripping. But it's really not wax. It's cellophane or something. But we're opening up products. So what we're doing is we're taking 30 baseball teams and we're selling 30 spots. And we're going to random the 30 with the 30 and you're going to get a random baseball team. And then we're going to rip open the packages and you're going to get the cards from the teams that you got in the randomizer. There's a chat room so people are watching. You do not have to be in the breaks to participate. And that almost rhymed can come into the chat room and watch Brody's and ours all the time, especially on nights with no school the next day. Saturday! Yeah. So you can come in the chat room. It's on YouTube. Just Google Top Shelf Breaks. It'll take you to the chat room. Okay. So I also wanted to ask you some stuff about, like, how you know, like, what when's a good time to do this product or how you set up your huge... Uh, Blitz mixes, oh, yeah. stuff like that. That's the creative part of it for me, personally. Uh, I know there are breakers out there that just do case after case after case after case. But I need variety. I need to have something to do for creativity. So I'll take a bunch of different products, and I'll just put them together on this very table, and that'll be my mixer. It's not like I have a planned time that I do it every day. It just comes upon me creatively, and I put the breaks together that way. So that keeps me engaged versus just throwing a bunch of breaks on the website, uh, case after case. I like to mix it up, do mixers, half cases, divisions. You can sell it by divisions. There's six divisions in baseball. You can do six spots. But the price goes up, the lower the number of spots, the price goes up. And the more amount of teams or... Yeah, the more amount of teams, it gets cheaper because I'm selling 30 spots. So it lowers the price per spot. Or the number of boxes. If you have 10 boxes versus a box, spot price is going to be a lot lower if it's just one box versus 10 in a case. 
So you have to watch for those things when you're looking on the website. See how many boxes it is and see how many teams you get. The more teams you're paying for, the more expensive it's going to be. One team, cheaper. All right? The key is family friendly, which I know you are. We are family friendly. But when you go to bed, oh man, you have no idea what it turns Except into. Except no, when kidding. it gets at 1 o'clock on Saturday night and there's no kids left. <laughs> right. Watch out. Yeah, it is very family friendly. That's just me. That's what we like, that environment. Um, everybody's welcoming if you're new. The people that are in already, who you know, that you see in chat, they know to welcome new people, make them feel comfortable, answer their questions, make them speak up. I see people in the break, but they're not chatting. But I know they're watching because they spent money and they're afraid to speak up. So I get them to say hello and get excited and get them going in the chat room, get them engaged. Got to ask them to speak up. Got to tell them, just speak up, Jim P7948. Chris, it's time to do something great. We're doing a pack battle, Dollar Tree pack Whoa. battle. And we're doing some basketball, 1920 absolute memorabilia. We're looking for the guy on the front, Rui Hachimura plus Zion Williams. What, I got to open this? Yeah, we're opening it. So we're going to show our best card, and then you're going to leave a comment below. Oh, my God, I won. Don't even open it. No, I'm <laughs> Just okay, everybody. Hey, whoa, uh -oh. hold on. Sweet. Leave a comment who you think won the war. Yeah, let them decide. And then next time you're our co-host. So I do lay him out. Say, and the look at that, dude. Look at Bro, that. That guy's pretty good. Mm. Do I show it to him? Sure. Luka Doncic. So I don't know. I got the tough position between. Ooh. Dope rookie. Nikhil Alexander Walker, Hi mm -hmm. Jerome, or Darius Basin. I'm gonna go with the pretty cool. For some reason, it's yellow. Who likes yellow? I'm just saying. All right. I don't really like yellow. Nikhil Alexander. Nikhil. Nikhil. Well, I got Darius Garland. Not rookies are better. So this Luca's a second year card. So that's not gonna. And Kyrie's good. He's hurt all the time though. But and so I, do I pick this then? Three, Right? I yeah. Card? Yeah. So I got Cam Reddish. He's an Atlanta Hawk. Okay, you probably won. I mean, Nikhil, you're a good player, but I mean, <laughs> he played at Duke. So Cam Reddish. Won. Yeah. Well, I mean, YouTube's going to decide. They're going to put in the comments. You never know. I am the host. Maybe. Exactly. I was trying to do this. Look, your name's on here. Brody, you got a Cam Reddish, dude. Oh, wow. That's sick. <laughs> there you go. All right, Chris. It's time for the one and only segment on the show. We call Product Review. Nice, yeah. What are we opening? We are going to open today because it is March Radness Month. I thought it was madness. Or is it radness. Do you think I would have March? It's March Radness. It has to do with the 80s. Everything was rad and cool and tubular. Tubular? Yeah, man. So I got some 80s cards. Tubular. <laughs> Tubular means cool back in 1984. So we have some 89 hoops. We have the inaugural. Yes, this is the first year inaugural oh, edition. sweet. I love these. Cards. That is the first year Skybox. And he has a collector's edition. It's 1992, 93, 94, somewhere around there. 95, 96. So what do you say we find some Jordans? Let's do it. Have you opened up anything of this era before? Yes, I've opened up a lot of the Skybox because I love the design. Cool. Sorry they're not in a tin. It's okay. All right. We didn't have tins in the 80s. Really? Man, these... Oh! What? I got a Michael Jordan. That's beautiful. Show that bad boy. Nothing in there. Oh, I forgot this is on. I guess I should pay attention. Look at that. Sweet. And that is that the All Star one? Uh, no, it's not. That's even better. Look at that, for real. The reason I like this is because I bought these from eBay, and I know that they were not searched, which I don't think that these are like near impossible to fake anyway. But it's it's the real deal. That's awesome. That's awesome. I got one too. Think I'll get as lucky as you? Oh, I got a Kevin. Uh, yeah, Kevin McHale. Kevin McHale, Hall of Famer. Man, Brody got a Jordan. Dan Marley. Oh, look at that. It's the coach of the worst team in the NBA. It is. All right, I'm going to do Skybox. Kiki Vandeweghe and Bernard King. Man, this is not rad. 
This in my pack was pretty is red. red. Vintage Jordan. Red. I like that word. Red? Hey, bring it back. Another Kevin McHale. Hashtag bring back the red. Hashtag bring back the ched check list. <laughs> hey, it's the dude, John Paxton. Or John Paxton. I don't know why I said Some of these names of these guys. Frank Brakowski. Real deal. The Look at that dynamic artwork on these cards from 1990. The real. Isaiah Thomas. No offense to the other Man, Isaiah. the Michael Jordan card in this is like the coolest mm -hmm. ever. Dennis Johnson. All right. And I'm Sean down Kemp. To my upper deck pack. Let's see. Oh. Oh, is that just. Checklist? That's Jordan. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter. The checklist. Checklist Jordan. Cool. Oh, these are like all flipped and stuff. Oh, Jesus. It's going to take me a while. Popeye Jones. Great name, dude. Is this like he wins for name only, Popeye Jones. Wait, did he like found uh, Popeyes? He is not the founder of Popeyes Chicken. Come on, Jordan. Rod Strickland. Hey, Joe Dumars, where is the Isaiah Thomas? So all month long, we're going to be doing cool stuff like this in the breaks. Chatters win. Chatters Can win, win these packs just for chatting in the in the chat room. Joe Dumars and Isaiah Thomas. One of the Brody, best. you have won your fair share of Chatters win, haven't you? Mm-hmm. All you gotta do That's is be in chat. Sweet cards. Just I can't believe this, Jordan. This is like perfectly centered chat. too, man. This How much is. Do those you gotta even get this go graded. For? Huh? How much do those even go for? They're. You gotta get them graded. I don't know. Hundred bucks. Seventy bucks. Sam. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Sam. Castle. We need to get this into one touch right now. I don't know why it took me so long to open this pack. Is that Michael? Oh, it kind of looked like him, didn't it? Yeah, it's just Charles Outlaw. <laughs> Charles Outlaw. So chatters win when you're in chat in Top Shelf. All you have to do is be in chat and subscribe to the channel. So when they subscribe to the channel, right, they hit the little subscribe button, they're automatically entered to win. And I can run this program. It selects a random winner. And I have these packs inside of my TSB packs, or sometimes I use regular packs. Sometimes it's an item, memorabilia item, just out of the blue throughout the night. I do it every night. So go to the chat room, bring your buddies, have them get in, and they can win. Pretty awesome. Yeah. We got something cool coming up. I bet you do, but guess what, Brody? This Michael is cool. That's going on eBay. Thank you very much. Peace out, everybody. All right, Chris, so what breaks you got coming up? It is a new release night, so we have some in case football. We have the brand new Select Basketball. We're going to be hunting some Zions. And we have Leaf Ultimate Draft Football tonight. Pretty Which awesome. We're going to go in the studio and do some breaks, right? Yeah. It is time yeah. for Interrupting <laughs> Game Show! Uh, what was that? Okay. It's the Interrupting Game Show! Uh, <laughs> oh, Interrupting, interrupting game, game Show! Who doesn't love game shows? We're talking about breaks and products, and we're going to do a game show. Let's do it. Let's Must do be it. this right here. Okay. See the card in front of you, Brody. What is okay. going to happen is when we say go, you're going to lift one of your cards, put it up on your forehead without looking at it. This is the Beckett. Without looking at it. <laughs> oh. Put it down on the table. Without oh. looking at okay. it. Okay. So when it's Brody's turn, face each other. I'm going to say go. Brody, hold the card up to your forehead. Nope. Example. Don't look at it. It is upside down. I have no idea what it is. Then Chris is going to try to get you to guess it. Ready? Example only, begin. Nine, five, ten. Oh, uh, Beckett? Grading. Grading? The Beckett? Yes! Oh. Woo! Similar enough. Maybe it was a Beckett know. magazine. I don't know. I didn't. Definitely. Do you understand the example? Yeah. Okay. Please pull your cards close to you and do not look at them. Or you will be disqualified. Okay. Whoops. Are you ready Wait, to play? What if it's upside down? Are you ready to play? But interrupting what, game what show. What if it's upside down? Are you ready to play? Interrupting game show. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's Please go. Face your opponent. You will get extra points for silliness and ridiculousness. Oh, we can do that. Oh, that's me all day. We can totally do that. All right. I'm, I'm going to out ridiculousness first. you. Tell me if it's upside down. So I need to explain that to you. Yes. One of the best in baseball right now. Mike Trout. 
Ding, ding. You have to move fast in interrupting game show. Okay, go. I put it on my head now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip it over. <laughs> um, 9.5, 10, 9.5. Grades. Black uh, label. Uh, no. Uh, Beckett grading. Uh, yeah, like, the Beckett. But, like, 9.5. 10? Grades. 9.5 is Centering. a... Black label. No, 9.5 9 is not a black label. 9.5 is a... Grade. Blank, blank. A good grade. Something I didn't get in school. Apparently you guys are not good at interrupting <laughs> games. Pass. Okay. What? Oh my gosh, I don't know what that is. How do I supposed to know that interrupting game show host? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Uh, like, I don't even know where to begin. S seven? Uh, this was pizza. just to be funny. Yeah, it's working. Pizza. <laughs> Food. Pizza is a pizza round. Pie. Pie! See, we got pie. That was close There's enough. The 137th number of pie. Why was it the 137? I don't know. Number? I think I know 08U142. Or I that's... know. It's 31412592. It's a long number, go. but you need 137th okay, one. Who's turn. up? Here you go. Come on. Flip it over. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so like what we put that Michael Jordan in? Top loader. You didn't Penny put sleeve. It. Yeah, there you go. There. Yes. I'm ding, like, ding, you ding. didn't put it in a top loader. Yeah, Time right, is did. running out. You must move quicker. Oh, those are things you go to retail okay. and you can buy the packs. Hater pack. No, different kinds uh, of packs in retail stores. Target, pack. Walmart. Gra gravity pack. That's very close. The other it's, kind. Or, uh, clear pack. Uh, it, rem it, rhyme, pack. it rhymes with the stuff that jiggles that you eat as a kid. He said it. Open up your ears. Oh, oh cello. Oh, cello packs. Okay. okay. <laughs> this interrupting game show person. Here we go. Um, the one and only. Brody the Kid. The one and uh, only. The only card in the world of One that. of one. There you go. Boom. Excuse me, you have one minute to finish your cards. It is rapid round. Go. This is the item that you lay in front of you when you are open. Break a mat, break a mat. Yes, yeah, yes. Go, 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 go. Wait, you already did that one. Oh. Uh, people that target that are mean and ruin kids' lives. Pack searchers. Yes. <laughs> uh, shiny product. Uh, prism. Yes. Pack searchers make the cards have fees. Uh, hits. No. M misses. They leave these cards that have these on the card that are Autographs. destroyed. I have no idea. What happened? Bent corners. Somebody does it. Ah, this is the sound that the packs make when you open them up. Oh, uh, rip. 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 <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, uh, they were here on your store on that Sunday after the... They were. Panini. Yes, there you go. Uh, this is a place that you are in right now. Top Shelf Cards! <laughs> no, what is a it? A local card shop! That is correct. You are in bonus round, boys! Bonus I round. must see silliness, and you must stand up. <laughs> I don't know what you want to do. Want to stand up. Here, let's do this. Up. That's really freaking out. You sit there, and I'll sit here. Must, okay. And you must... <laughs> Go. You must um, tap your head while you're guessing. Oh! That's dope. Um, he's on your briefcase. That you have signed. I think. Hulk Hogan, brother! No. I think at least. Undertaker! Yeah, there you go, there you go. Yes! Do I have to guess this? No, you're telling. You're <laughs> you, you have to. Uh, this is an item that you put in your mouth and it refreshes your mouth and your breath. A bread. drink. Nope. It's. Gum. That Hand is, sanitizer. Nope, it is a stick of gum. You oh, are correct. Okay. So Freeze! Wait. You are now in the hopping bonus round. Stand up and do the next three cards while hopping. <laughs> okay. And begin. Uh, that's the same one you were just doing. Pick dude. another card. Hop. Pick oh, another I, card. I, I did that one. <laughs> I have to um, guess this. So it's a type of shine, 
and with the type of color, and it's one of the primary colors of art. Oh my gosh. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, okay, violet. Okay, you got the color. Roy G. Biv. The color is blue. Rainbows. But well, I'm talking about what you do with the card when it's really shiny. And it, like in prism, it's a silver. Silver refractor. No. Oh, that was a good it's guess. It's like the same thing as a refractor. Silver prism. But it starts with a P. Silver prism. You're fucking <laughs> What? How is that cheating? Oh, uh, blue parallel. Shut <laughs> cheating. You are now in the, we must give the clues with a football voice. And begin. Sir, greatest of all time. Nobody will ever be better Joe than Montana. Better than him. Other sport. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. How? Okay, wait. Greatest of all time. Nobody better. Impossible. Babe Ruth. Never will happen. Walter Payton. The Michael Jordan of ba of basketball. Michael Jordan. I mean, <laughs> I meant to say the Michael Jackson. <laughs> yes. There you go. Okay, it's your turn. Because Chris so I put this up here. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Chris cheated. He must now. Ask his questions in an opera voice. Begin! I, I was thinking Michaels. I got the Michaels mixed up. Yeah, well... So I put this on my forehead now? Yeah, you have to okay, talk with the opera. You're one of these! Is that your opera voice? You're one of these! I'm still a football player. You got the bonus uh, to opera. <laughs> a breaker! Yeah! Woo! You think, let me say yes. You have to get your card when you're not Treated. sure if it's legitimate or not. Uh, authenticated. Yes, authenticated! Ah! Uh, Good job. Your turn, your turn, your Pause. turn. Pause. We are down to our last five cards. Please just do them normal and hurry up. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, that's me. Brody. No. Brody the kid! Yeah! <laughs> this is where the next national is. Atlantic City. Correct. Bing, 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 bing. So I put this yeah. on my head? Yeah. Um... It's one of those things you find in packs, and you think the pack is thick, and then you get that. And you're Blockers. Like, you stupid. Blockers. Fakes. Uh. Dummies. Uh, you're close. Blocker. Uh, Dummy card. You, you got the first word right. We Decoys. Will, we will accept dummy card. D uh, <laughs> dummy board. That's a new one. You are now in the we must talk like little kid munchkin voices. Ready and begin. Um, so this is a company, and it's one of the bigger companies that makes a lot of baseball cards. Tops! You're not talking like a little kid. Tops! There you go. All right. <laughs> now it's time to put one on my head. This is... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what you get when you go after college, and you get to go to the big sports. Uh, NBA. MLB. You are a... Professional. You are... Picked uh, from a big group of the draft, kids. Uh, yes, you are a draft pick. <laughs> okay. Oh, so these things are also thick, but they're actually cards, and um, there's one guaranteed in these inside of a tops box. Breeze, talk in slow motion. So, you get one of these in every tops box. Checklist. No. Autograph. It's a hit. But it's not an autograph. A relic, Jersey. Good job. Yes. Hey, what happened to your slow motion? We got, I got two left. This. Am I still doing slow voices? This yes. is a weird, creepy voice. Yes, you these are. These are not a whole bunch of these. Freeze! Interrupting game show host says you must do the next two cards as a chicken. Uh, <laughs> Bach? I mean, Bach! <laughs> Limited. Also known as two uh, letters. Uh, Come on, I'm tired of acting like a chicken. This is embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> limited edition? Short print. Oh. Cheater. All right, it's here. Uh, Sit down for the last two cards. Uh, hey, you didn't have to do chicken. So you kind of, like, you have to get this authenticated because people could say that's fake. You get your autograph authenticated. Autograph authentication? No, you like you go to a baseball game and you're like, "Hey, Lucas Giolito, can I si can you sign my card?" Yes. And then you and then that's called a 
In person autograph? Yes. Whoa! Are. How about that this one? This is the last question! This show is very cool. Hobby Life! This is episode five! Hobby or is it six? Life. It's Hobby Life. It's Hobby Life, life. episode five. five. Got it. Tune in next time for the Interrupting Game Show, where hopefully we will have hosts that can play. I've always wanted to do this, producer guy. Could you put some glass sound effects in the back of this like Letterman used to do? Chris? Yes? I have a great interview to check out. Watch it. All right, got to get some information for my interview on Saturday. Let's check out where this place is. Whoa, this is far. This looks really far. They live there? Number two, are kangaroos cool? I don't know, they look kind of creepy. Let's see. Kangaroo, one of Australia's most recognizable Whoa. marsupials. There are a handful of species found all over the country. From the Antilopine kangaroo in the far northern reaches scary. to the aptly named Eastern Grey. They look pretty cool. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I know they got accents, so I don't know how I'm going to be able to understand them. So let's look it up and see what I can do. Oh, what's going on, mate? What's going on, mate? What's going on, mate? Mate. What's going on, mate? 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 All right, I got this, mate. Number three, say might. Hobby Life's going international. Please welcome to Hobby Life. From all the way in Australia, Cherry Collectibles! Guys, can you please introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. I'm uh, I'm Grayson. I'm the uh, owner of Cherry. Hi, I'm Charlie, and uh, I do all the social media for uh, for Cherry. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. Was good, yeah. Beautiful day here in Australia. Sounds pretty good. It's never, it's always bad weather in the United States. Never bad weather. Yeah, that's why koalas won't live there. <laughs> okay, so can you guys tell me a little bit about how Cherry started? Sure, Brody. Um, so I started Cherry um, back in 2009. Um, it was a little side hustle. Uh, there wasn't a lot of things going on in the hobby, but um, shortly after, Panini picked up the exclusive license, and it's just been uh, it's just been all up since then, and yeah, really exciting. Yeah, it's you can definitely see how much the its hobby has grown in the last couple of years, especially. Mm -hmm. So, can you guys tell me how you guys got into collecting as yourselves, like as a kid? Yeah, I, I think the first stuff I collected was um, when I was a boy was the the 89 Batman movie cards. And then um, that would have been the first thing that swept through my school. And then, of course, later uh, in the early 90s when um, Michael Jordan became, you know, so huge. And um, that first run of cards in the 90s with Shaq and um, that all of upper those. Deck, that, the upper deck rookie with the three... Oh yeah, you had to have that card. Like if you if you pulled that card out of a pack, you were the coolest person that day, definitely. <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. I mean, it's just I think the thing is nowadays we don't have enough kids in this hobby, and that's what I'm trying to do: get more kids into the hobby. Yeah, man, you you're spot on. There's um the an adult. Uh, centric market right now um, but I think that the you know the, the big guys the big players tops in particular and, and Panini are um, and Alpha Deck as well are, are very focused on uh, making that uh, a priority and you know I think that's one of the reasons why you've got such great relationships and they're they're really getting behind Brody the kid mm. yeah it's definitely I 
like I think I can see a I can like just from the last couple of nationals we can see that growth starting to come up pace a little bit. Um, I think especially when they made kit uh the kid admission free, I think that really started to help it too. When did you start collecting, Brody? I started collecting probably about twenty sixteen ish, probably. I mean, I wasn't as big into it. It was more like go to Walmart, pick out a pack, and then hope for my favorite player. Yeah, and I mean that's it. And it's the here in Australia right now. We've got trading cards in our WalMarts for the first time, and that's uh, having a huge impact on the collectors. Mm. So can you guys tell me a little bit about your guys' store and some of the breaks you do and some stuff you guys do? Yeah, sure, Joe. Um, well, the store here is uh, is in one of Australia's biggest cities in Melbourne, right in the middle of the CBD. So um, we're lucky in that, um, you know, local customers can come in and pick up and get that great um, in-store experience as well as um, this is the place where we ship all our orders from uh, around Australia and uh, and now in more and more internationally going to the states going to Europe going into Asia and uh, yeah it's also where the where the breaks happen downstairs here in the dungeon with Blake mm. we're, yeah we're, we're, this is our our dungeon right now our basement and we're surrounded by um, boxes and singles and packaging and um, just over, just behind the, the, the camera here is uh, is Blake. He's preparing for this evening's breaks. We've probably got about five or six breaks on tonight. And um, yeah, we do it all in the one spot. We're very lucky. That's pretty awesome. I did see maybe, I don't it was in like October or something, that Gary V was in your shop. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about that? Yeah, well, um, that start, I, I think we were lucky in that G got over to the Nationals last year and was able to briefly meet Gary, uh, as a lot of guys did. And um, while, while Gray was on the plane on the way back, we sort of devised a, a social media plan to try and, uh, and get him to come in store because we knew he was coming for, a, uh, for an Australian tour. And uh, that was the Gary V trap where we put a bunch of De'Aaron Fox rookies, um, <laughs> took some pictures of them, and... Um, he through, loved it. He did. He really he did love it. it when he came in store. And through a, through a few connections on Instagram, we were able to get that to, to his team and then up to him. And, uh, and then one day we got, a, uh, we got a DM from him that he was coming in store in about 10 minutes. That definitely sounds like something that Gary V would do. Just such a great guy. Um, I, I remember seeing that post a long time ago of the Gary V trap. And, and you, you met him too, Brody? Yeah, I met him at the National. Really nice. It was awesome to meet him. Yeah, I think that I think if people like him and, and like yourself are, um, are the, the biggest reason that this hobby is really blowing up. It's people that are, are wanting to spend a lot of their own time uh, on telling other people how great this is and um you know prices of cards aside uh it, it's, it's heaps of fun and it's really it's a really healthy um and uh and long-term passion yeah like even gary v it's just like even the stuff he does with flipping like even when he does it even if he just buys a car for five dollars but he makes ten dollars on it like it's all about the fun of like the quick sells and stuff like that yeah and you learn a lot there's a there's a huge amount that you learn doing that stuff um you know i learned it i ran a short a small store when i was much younger um down in tasmania which is below australia for everyone that's watching it's where the tassie devil's from um one of the reasons that koalas are so endangered is because tassie devils no that's not true um <laughs> so yeah i learned a lot of those dynamics of the buying and selling and um and i think it it's really beneficial mm -hmm. so 
can you guys tell me, you know, because you're in Australia, is there, is there any, like, challenges on, like, shipping or anything like that from being in Australia? Mm, not especially. Uh, it's now, you know, very well connected. All of the shipping is um, pretty easy to do. It's relatively cheap now. And, uh, well, you know, free. It, all, all of our breaks, all of our breaks is free international shipping. So there's no friction there at all. Um, we mm. use FedEx, which you, I know is very popular in the US for expensive cards. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's, it's not as, it's, it's not really an issue these days. That's good to hear. Cause I mean, like I'm going to, when I get spring break, because it's hard for me to get into a break with you guys. Because we're like 17 hours apart. So. You're in bed. <laughs> so when I'm in spring break, I'm going to stay up late and get in a break with you guys. It's going to be a real lot of fun. But um, I just wanted to ask you guys, do you guys have <laughs> pack searchers in Australia? Yes. That, I, I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. Uh, it's, uh, it's in every industry, man. It, it, it is what it is. I... I I get tired. I like. I even go to my targets, and stuff will be destroyed everywhere. And you, you just ruined a kid's day because they wanted to get something, but it's destroyed. Yeah, it's uh, it's certainly not um, it's certainly not as widespread as it was in the nineties. Um, I think Panini do a great job. Or all the companies do a great job in you know using decoys and stuff like that, and you know very secure packaging. Yeah, I think definitely. Um, but I, sometimes it just gets out of hand. Like, I, I've seen so many people get caught on video. And then I saw this one video. This guy got caught on video. And the Walmart security was getting mad at the person that was videoing him. Instead of getting mad at the pack searcher. <laughs> so funny. I was like, come on, man. They wouldn't know. They wouldn't have a clue. Right. What was going on. Yeah, They'd just no be like, why is that guy... Why does that guy have scales on the floor of Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you guys have a lot of kid collectors in Australia? Yeah, absolutely. That's great to hear. I like to hear that. You're, you're seeing a lot more, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I think it's something we're seeing a lot more of. Um, certainly my kids are, uh, are getting into it and, um, and the kids in my little girls class especially they're collecting um a lot of uh aussie rules footy cards here and you know they're they're seeing their dads with their basketball cards and so they're starting to want to get into that too what are some products you guys recommend for kids out there that aren't like spending a ton of money on collecting but want to like you know collect just don't really know where to start I mean, I think that the absolute best products that are available are the, um, are the what they call the hobby hybrids or your Walmart products. I think um, uh, the manufacturers, uh, particularly like Panini's last Optic Retail Blasters, are amazing. Um, just loaded with content. Um, you know, we sell it. We break down a lot of cases for singles, and you know, we were getting four, five, six autos in a case, which is maybe one in three one in four had an auto wow. um with the blasters and that was not the case For 10 years ago a blaster product it was like one in 20 might have an autograph so i think they offer really great value and i think people overlook them a little bit especially early on when products release yeah like i remember prism basketball blasters those things were never autographs it was always memorabilia cards yeah, there was one or two per case. One or two yeah. per case. I opened like ten of them. They were all relics. Oh! <laughs> but you want the variations in Prism anyway. Yeah, you don't want the order. That, that's, that's, good. that's the true part. I mean... Hey, been... Brody, we actually want to... We want to send over to you, though. We've got a couple of boxes here, um, thanks to Panini, of uh, Donruss Optic uh, Retail. We want to send these your way. Um... You can do whatever you want with them. Thank you, guys. Bust them, rip them, give them away. It's up to you, man. But um, thank you. Yeah, so hopefully. That's no, thank you. Thank you for having us on. Thank you for coming on. So, um, before you go, 
We have to play a game, though. We have to do the rapid fire with Brody the Kid. So basically, this is going to be... I'm going to give you two options. It's going to be like this or that. And you just have to answer one really quickly. Okay. Can you handle it? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Basketball or soccer cards? Basketball. Basketball. Coke or cherry Coke? Cherry Coke. Yeah, cherry Coke. Come on, guys. You got to go quick. This is rapid fire. This is quick. No thinking. <laughs> you just got to splurt something out. Graded or raw? Pepsi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pick it graded. Yeah, BGS. Zion or Ja? Zion. Ja. Relics or autos? Autos. Autos. Twitter or Instagram? I know this answer. Insta. Insta. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that was going to be the answer. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Xbox. WWE 2K or Fortnite? Oh. Mm, Fortnite. I can't. I, don't, I can't. <laughs> I haven't got time. I have time, man. I'm running a card shop. <laughs> Apple pie or cherry pie? Apple pie. Yeah, apple. <laughs> How do you go against cherry? Come on. <laughs> koalas or kangaroos? Kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos. Koalas are nasty. So kangaroos. Kangaroos are really nice. The koalas are just... Uh... Box breaks or break dancing? Mm, box breaks. Box breaks. No one here could break dance. <laughs> Zero. Zero people at Cherry can break dance. We've got a few good singers, but no dancers. <laughs> Blueberries or cherries? cherries? Cherries. Jordan or LeBron? Jordan. LeBron. And I have to ask all the guests this because I can't let it go. Anna or Elsa? Whoa. Oh, frozen. Mm. Who, Blake? Elsa. <laughs> yep. We'll go with Elsa. Olaf. Olaf's the cool one. <laughs> you didn't give us an option. <laughs> good, good job, guys. You did good on the first international. Um, what we just played, rapid fire with Brody the Kid. You did Thank good. You, buddy. All right, now it's time to do something else. It's gonna be the first ever international. Wait, hold on, hold on. We gotta hear. Your guys is rips at the same time. Three, two, one. RIP! <laughs> okay, that's what we're doing. We're doing the first ever international daily rip. So we're going to do some optic do basketball. Because we got to do something crazy for the first international daily rip. Die on, die on. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Alright, let's see what we get. I want to read something. We have Joe Harris. The guy that shoots threes. And shoots more threes. We have a rated rookie of Justin Robinson for the Wizards. <laughs> the rated rookie, not bad. We got a prism of Jason Tatum. Nice. Am Bam Adebayo. All right. Next pack. So what are your guys' favorite basketball product this year? Mm, I've like, I like Doptic. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, my I think that every year, each I think each of the brands, Panini, keep on making it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I could agree with keep that. Keep on getting excited about everything. Mm -hmm. We got Markale Fultz. Oh, we did get a short print. Um, is this like a no name? Luca. Of the other Luca, as I like to call. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit like you, Brody. <laughs> And we have, I don't even know what this is. Purple, I think. 
Dylan Windler. Yeah, purple. And Clint Capella. All right, this is our last regular pack, and now we have the blue velocity. Have you seen? Have you seen the meme where uh, Dennis Schroeder uh, evolves into Clint Capella? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I should check it out. All right. Oh, here's a good one. Rated rookie of Brandon Clark. How much does optic cost in Australia? Partner, no comment. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> it's really expensive, man. It's um one of the things with the challenges we have here is we've got big import taxes. I know some of the American oh. states do too. Mm -hmm. So by the time it comes here, and then by the time mm -hmm. you know you trade shipping into account, and then the market price goes up. Yeah, the, our prices just sound awful, so you don't want to hear them. <laughs> All right, we have these inserts. I love the inserts in Optic. They're, like, so shiny and cool-looking. Anthony Davis. What's your favorite? Probably this one. This is pretty cool. I like the splash. <clears throat> I mean, all of them are really nice, though. They, they do a real... Uh, they... All the shiny products, they always do a good job with inserts and stuff. Alright, we have Ben Simmons. These look really nice. The Aussie. Nice. Very shiny. We have a rated rookie of KZ Akpala for the Heat. Oh, is that how you pronounce it? I, I, I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, and DeMontis Sabonis. Very nice looking cards. So, that's it for the first ever International Daily Rep, guys. Thank you so much for being on Hobby Life. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Bernie, and uh, yeah, we'll chat again sometime. All right, thank you. Anytime you want to come on, just let me know. See you at the before National. We Hold on. Before we go. Yeah, see you at the National. Before we go, um, can we have your social media so we can follow you? Oh, yeah, of course. We are at Cherry Collectibles on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We are on YouTube as well and TikTok. <laughs> Make sure to check them out. Um, thank you, guys. I hope to see you at the National. Anytime you want to be on Hobby Life, just let me know. See you, mates. Peace out. See you, right. Brody. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Time for one of my favorite parts of the show. We're going to be announcing the giveaway winners. We have a drip medal. So, the winner of the 2019 Panini Illusions Football Earth Smith Jr. Autograph Rilla graded 9.5 Gem Mint 10 Autograph is going to Carl Barrett. Congratulations, Carl. And the winner of the Big League Chase. This is going to be really cool. And whoever wins it, you will have a lot of fun with it. Is Danny Vincent. Congratulations. Please DM us on HobbyLife.com to claim your prize. Thank you. All right. Now it's time for this week's prizes. And here is how you enter for this week's prizes. So, one, you have to watch the episode. I mean... Duh. Um, you have to be subscribed to the channel. You gotta give it a thumbs up. I mean, give them the thumbs up. And you got, if you're on Twitter, um, you have to retweet it plus tag a friend. And if you're on Instagram, like plus tag a friend since they both work a lot differently. So this week, we are going to be giving away a Kettle Marte graded 9.5 Gem Mint 10. All-Star Game Jersey card from 2019 Tops Update Baseball. So that's Becca Grada, like I said. So a really awesome prize. Plus, I want to spread the international love around. We are going to give away from Cherry Collectibles in Australia a box of 2019-20 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball Retail I mean, you got chances at Zion. It's gonna, that's a crazy box right there. So thanks again to Grayson and Charlie. Make sure you enter so you can win big. 
with Brody the Kid. Okay, Chris, can you believe that it's the end of episode 5 of the one and only Hobby Life Show? This was a good one. It was a really good one. Whatever we had you on, it's always a great show. So, well, thanks. Just don't make me act like a chicken again. But I'll do anything. Yeah. Proof positive right there that I will do anything. Okay, so we got <laughs> some great giveaways this week. Make sure you enter them. You have a good chance at winning. And again, let's thank our sponsors, Southern Hobby Supply and Beckett Media. Thank you so much. Um, that's pretty much it. You can read my blog at BigLeagueBreaks.com. You can follow me on Twitter at BrodyTK, Instagram BrodyTheKid1. I've said it in all five episodes. I'm sure you figured it out by now. Chris? That's it, man. You covered it. All right. We're good. Thanks. Let's go do a break. Let's go do it. Get in that studio. Let's do it. Break time. Break time. Peace Gold. It is. Zion Gold! Oh, Zion Gold! Dude, that's money. Those are going to be to 10. And it's one of 10 Golden Zion. Holy thousands. Player. Oh my gosh! That's a silver Zion, dude. Holy cow. Brody cool. in the house tonight pulling gold Zions and silver Zions. And that is a very dopely centered. Well, it's off a little bit now that I hold it like that. I've seen worse. All right. So here we go. So this is 1819, so we're looking for Luca. We got Derek Rose. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, Chris! Huh? Oh my goodness! What? Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Five of five donkey. What? Dude! Look at you go! Look at this kid! Oh! Oh my Wow! I saw, it was flipped over and I just read the autograph. Is Way to go! Five like, of five! Oh my Look at that! The Brody the Kid bonus pack! Is there anything else we could pull tonight? Gold Zion, Silver Zion, and a five spot freaking Luca.